Stark's life as a four-door Bronco. You can have to get a two-door here, actually, in the door. Looks like a two-door. Um, but it's got a four a four-door frame underneath it and a four-door body structure. Um, that's important for the strength and durability that we, we know is in this platform. Then we add to it in order to be 
Street Racing Team Safety. So our partner for building this truck, Multimatic, we use their FEA tools and optimized safety cage because the innovation here is the Acra tubes that are part of the frame and structure for the production truck are integrated directly with a safety cage so that you get a weight efficient but still very safe, very durable cage. So that is important for us. When we talk about the metal roofing, We obviously have a custom intake system, um, custom exhaust system, so there's custom calibration that goes through that to optimize it. A lot of power there, so we're going to generate a lot of heat. It's a desert racer, so we've got to pull the radiators up here to protect it from the dirt and the sand. And Paul will tell you these look great, and he's probably right, they do look great, but they're also very functional for getting a lot of air in there. goes out to the differentials. It's an independently, electronically controlled front and rear locking differential, 4.7 to 1 ratio. Um, as you see with the extra travel and with the extra torque available, we've got uh, RCB half shafts in the front of this so that we have extra torque capacity and articulation available for that. So great powertrain, really excited about that. And then for the suspension, again, uh, Multimatic as our partner with this uh, travel that we've got on the suspension, it's more than 50% increase in travel relative to the Bronco Badlands that you would buy. Um, and we've got some new dampers on here. They're Multimatic position selective dampers in the front with lots of travel, lots of control. So really excited about what we're going to be able to do with that and the control for tuning it and adjusting it during the race. Uh, there's a billet, uh, lower control arm, machine from aluminum billet, uh, great strength there, great design properties. And then we have uh, the uh, BF Goodrich tires, 37 inches. It's a mud terrain KM3 tire, so we've got the right tire to go desert racing. We've got the right suspension, the right powertrain, we think. So we're excited about this, excited to get it out, uh, have people see it. Um, and I think I think it looks great, but I will let Paul talk about that because he's the expert on how it looks, and he can tell us also about the delivery this time. <coughs> so uh, we got very lucky. Um, it, as you can see, that the Bronco's got a fantastic legacy uh, in motorsport, and to be given the opportunity to to pen another chapter in that story was was really cool. We took it very seriously, but we have to start somewhere. So me and my team spent a very happy afternoon, uh, not working, but just watching YouTube videos of Broncos racing back in the day, uh, Broncos racing right now, and also we, we kind of got excited about 1980s Groovy Rally cars. All of this stuff is automotive aristocracy to us, and that sort of framed what we wanted to do. Now behind you, you'll see some of the very first sketches that the team put together, we'll probably need to look at that later. Um, I'm really proud of my team and how quickly they can zero in on stuff that's so cool and exciting. They're in a zone all the time. We took from those sketches the first ideas and we poured them into the second board that will be that's on my left over here. We'll look at that later on. And with that in mind and using our typical Ford Bronco unusual design process, uh, we skipped the play models, we didn't do any of that stuff. We went straight into fast cast, a lot of digital reviews, a lot of virtual reality. And with that data finished, it was off to be made. So uh, let me just talk you through what we think makes it a Bronco still. We've got that single piece grill, just like uh, just like Rev. And inside that single piece grill, it's a new design, it's much more open for cooling. Um, it's got the production vehicle headlights. Um, below that, we've got a new race ready uh, tube of steel bumper that's mounted to the Bronco chassis <coughs> frame. Above that, we've got our trail sites from the production vehicle, but beyond that, we've got this super powerful. Uh, 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 new design with the uh, air vents to allow the heat out of the away from the V8, and that form factor penetrates through where the windshield would have been into the cockpit, where we've got a replica of the Bronco instrument panel. On the end of it, there are production vehicle grab handles just here. And as you look at the body size, you may well be able to tell that it looks it's really inspired by the Bronco R race prototype. We've got big tyres on this vehicle, we need the clearance. Now there are no doors, so the crews are going to have to scramble in where the windows would have been uh, into the vehicle. And then around the back, when you get time to look at it, you'll notice that we've got the production taillights as well. The swing gate's gone, it's just a spare tyre and an exoskeleton. All very, very optimised for racing. 
And above the belt line, I think it's just two things. It's all about cooling, because the cooling packs are behind the, uh, the occupants. And the second thing is just basically Max and Watson. We just loved the look of this stuff. It's appropriately extreme. So I think this, this really captures the essence of what a racing Bronco should be. But another aspect of what another aspect of the essence of what Bronco is all about for me is, is stories. And so I'm going to just talk a little bit about the livery, the way that we dress this, this monster. Um, we, uh, at the front of the vehicle, our livery is black, white, and red. And you'll see that on one truck, the first truck to arrive here today. So we start off at the beginning of our story with our livery, with a reference to the past. But as we move down the body side, you begin to see other things happen. We, re we introduce the um, current working Bronco on the side there. And you'll notice it sits over chevrons and arrows. They're about progress and movement, right? and it's an accelerating progress as we introduce more of those shepherds. As we get to the back and the final part of that story is the black area. This is the void. This is the future. This is the unknown. This is a developing story. The only thing that sits in it is the stars and stripes. So overall, we're super happy with this vehicle. We think it looks really strong. That's me talking. It's now time for me to hand over to uh, Jan for some closing words. Again, we know that you're excited and we want to get the content out. We know that the embargo is still 4 o'clock local time. I just sent you an email with the Dropbox as well as the press.